This is going to be hopefully a pretty quick video. We'll break it into two parts. Looking at package source from, or the binary packages from package source from Joint on Linux. I'm really liking this, especially now that I have a MacBook, in that I have a common set of packages that I can use the same mechanism across uh, Illumos, Linux, and Mac OS. Uh, on the Linux side, I don't use it too much, but with the Mac, I'm really loving it that I can go and pull these packages in. Unfortunately, my Mac is company provided, so I have to maintain that bright line between the activities here, right? uh, what I'm doing uh, for non-business use, and so of course I can't be using that. You'll never see it. But let's go and get the binary packages installed. Second video, we'll look at uh, doing uh, builds from source and generating packages and installing from source. So I'm going to grab the, uh, the binaries here on both. Uh, I have a, a CentOS VM and a Slackware. That's actually physical, a physical machine. We'll uncompress them or untar them. And you'll want to put uh, user package bin and user package s bin uh, into your path to if you're doing this for real, and you know, probably into your um, shell rc script, whatever that would be. But I'm not going to mess with that right now to keep things brief. Let's take a look for something here. Look for Jed. And similarly over on Slackware. Something with an editor that Slackware does not have. We'll look for Ema X Emacs there. So should be able to install Jed. So yeah, that looks reasonable. We get prompted. And it is that easy. So fantastic. So this way I can go put generate a list of packages, put them everywhere. So, so. nothing too fancy there. Uh, and there's a lot of packages. So Just taking a look for a, a different emulator. I think when I look for so no SimH emulator, and maybe on the Linux thing because they're designed for RHEL or CentOS, and things that they're already a package for. Let's get XEMX in here, just to display the speed of the the package installation. And to be honest, if I have a RHEL or a CentOS, um, you know anything RPM based, I mean this is just a lot nicer than than Yum. Uh, and a nice taste of NetBSD move forward into other platforms. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, so let's pull out Jed. And so no more Jed. So you get the full, it's just like on NetBSD. Or on SmartOS. So pretty fancy. Yeah. Check out XE Paths. And we get Lucid Emacs over here. Uh, I guess that wraps it up for this video. Like I said, it was going to be quick. Um, package source on Linux. Uh, another wonderful contribution from Joyant that has made my life a little bit easier.